Coming up here on Mountain News this morning, the Omicron variant continues to take its toll on hospitals across the Commonwealth. And some funding by the state government grants families impacted by the deadly tornado outbreak last month some extra help. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you. It is finally Friday and it's just before 5 o'clock. Good morning to you. I'm Dakota Makris and let's take it on over to meteorologist Cameron Aaron who is, well, we're now issued our severe weather alert day. Cameron, good morning to you and right now it is snowing in some areas. Yeah, we are waking up to some snowflakes over portions of the area, not mm -hmm. here in Hazard, but right. that is coming later on this morning. Let's take a look at that camera right now over at I-64 in Moorhead. You can see here snow is coming down in Rowan County, starting to get some accumulation there on the grassy areas as that snow continues to fly over our northern counties this morning. Temperatures in those middle to lower 30s, 30 for Moorhead, 33 in Jackson, 31 for Irvin, 34 over in Somerset. Now this is brand new from the National Weather Service in Jackson. Most of our area is included in a winter weather advisory that goes until Saturday morning. Now the counties for uh, Rowan, Powell and Menifee counties, those are actually going to expire Friday morning at 10 a.m. But the rest of us are going to go until Saturday morning with this round of snow showers. Here is a look at pinpoint Doppler. Most of the heaviest snow now over our northern counties near I-64, but that is all pushing off towards the south. So we as we go throughout the rest of today, snow showers are going to be possible. Temperatures topping out in those middle to lower 30s and some very frigid air is on the way tonight and into your Saturday. I got that full forecast and what you can expect this weekend coming up just a little bit later. Dakota. All right, Cameron, thank you. Well, Kentucky is still fighting the Omicron surge. The state added more than 12,700 new cases yesterday and 39 new deaths. The positivity rate is down again slightly to 31.6%. Hospitalizations remain above 2,500 and 473 people are currently in the ICU. Folks, be careful. When this happens, we don't have room or beds for people hurt in car accidents or who have strokes. This is the danger here is bigger than just COVID. Well, you can always find the latest COVID-19 information on our website at WYMT.com. Well, Governor Andy Bashir says while the Omicron variant has proven less deadly, it is infecting more people and hospitalizing the same amount. Patients are filling up ICUs too. Right now, less than 100 adult ICU beds are available across the Commonwealth. But some encouraging news is the variant seems to have peaked and will hopefully soon go down. If we follow the trends that others are, if this week is higher than last week, then next week we truly believe will be lower. Now, even if it's lower, it's still going to be too high. So we got to we got to ride the the the, the dip. Uh, a couple weeks, but we hope that it uh, descends as fast as it as it ascended. Well, the other concerning news hospitalizations across the state are near the record numbers like we saw last summer when Delta peaked. Well, one of the hospital systems filling the strain is Baptist Health across the system. Around 500 COVID patients are being taken care of at Baptist Health Floyd in New Albany, Indiana. Healthcare workers are seeing patient numbers fluctuate in the 60s. And as the data has shown in the past, most of their patients are unvaccinated. About 80 to 85 percent of our patients are unvaccinated that are coming into the hospital. So while Omicron may be, you know, infecting people that have been vaccinated, we're not seeing those patients in the hospital. Doctors are also seeing staffing shortages impacting their workplaces with burnout. Kentucky lawmakers are taking aim at reversing the state's chronically high rates for child abuse and neglect. Legislation to bolster prevention efforts won approval Wednesday from the Senate Health and Welfare Committee, sending it to the full Senate. A key portion of the measure would expand family preservation services to work with families when children are considered at moderate risk of being removed from the home. The goal is the early intervention will head off potential abuse or neglect. Kentucky's top ranking state house Democrat has announced she will not be seeking reelection this year. State Representative Joni Jenkins says she will not stand in the way of a person of color being elected in her newly redrawn Louisville area district. She says black people make up nearly 50% of the voting age population. Now the representative says she will maintain her legislative and caucus leadership seat through her term. 
Well, the Owsley County Superintendent says he plans to retire later this year. Dr. Tim Bobrowski has served as superintendent for 11 years. He says each year the school board works to achieve its goals, and he believes they did. We asked him what his message is to his successor. You, you have to be committed. Committed means uh, you have to keep this job number one. You have to keep these kids and these staff members, you know, they're all the focal point of your career. The superintendent went on to say he works with the great school board, teachers and students. He thanked them for allowing him to serve their community. Well, families impacted by deadly tornadoes in western Kentucky are getting temporary homes. The trailers will first help those with school aged children or families with young children who work in their communities. They will reportedly house 200 families. The 200 trailers are being paid for by House Bill 5A that passed unanimously by the House and Senate. You can see the work of the General Assembly, uh, the cooperation between these branches of government. Each trailer is 27 to 36 feet long and includes a microwave, sinks, beds, oven, and a fridge and more. The transportation cabinet is responsible for hooking up utilities and monitoring the campers during weather events. Well, thank you so very much for getting your Friday morning started with us. Coming up next, space experts try to uncover the secrets behind an energetic object in outer space. Scattered snow showers are likely today. I got all the details on how much you can expect coming up.